Hey folks, Quillyteen here, and welcome to another sort of Let's Play Surviving Mars. It's our 12 Apostle run, and we got another Mars Gate Silent Invasion. Well, another Mars Gate event. Uh, the Silent Invasion. We detect and monitor four more objects as they parachute down to make landfall, every one of them bearing resemblance to object 6EZ3. And yeah, I had noticed that like over time, like more of these guys showed up. Actually, one of them is out of power, which is a little bit weird. Uh, Esso Corp is totally silent about the second batch of what we believe to be some sort of surveying rovers. More colonists have witnessed the landings and are openly concerned about what they perceive to be an invasion. Calm the general public down. We need answers. Our biggest problem right now, though, is lack of machine parts, mostly brought on by a general shortage of metal, combined with the fact we just survived a dust storm, so all of my, um, my shuttles were sort of GG'd out here. Idle extractor, that's fine we can salvage that this hasn't been built yet because we're still waiting for the machine parts i did just deliver a bunch of metal over in this general area so hopefully we will start producing them soon enough you can see tons of things are waiting for some uh maintenance in fact my um my rock is on the way back to earth and i may just send some machine parts over just to tide us over while we wait for um for our production to kick back in but yeah, the water like situation is a little bit dire actually, so I'm kind of worried about that. We've got to wait for some deliveries of, well, machine parts over here. It's like it's huge machine parts bottleneck. I might actually drop a rocket here specifically if we don't all uh, starve first. Yeah, see these rovers? They just keep like, what are you doing? And it is funny that like there's this one that ran out of power. Like I don't know if I should go and repair it or what. Wait. I can just salvage the one that ran out of power. I wonder if that's intended. It probably is. Um, cargo rocket. Machine parts. Ooh, well, I guess I'll ship some polymers as well. So we don't have unlimited ones of those. We're looking to drop off over here. Now, in theory, my shuttle hub... Is my shuttle hub not working? No, it's working. I just don't have machine parts. Okay, well, since you're not doing anything over here anyway, um, did I salvage that one? Oh, yeah, there it is, right there. Uh, I didn't know if I needed to get a drone over there to salvage it. So now, in theory, shuttles will go and pick that up um, as we need things. So that's cool. I'll move over here just in case this is something I can I can fix. But we need an electronic part over here. There might be There are electronics over here actually, so if I just do this, we should be able to fix the shuttle hub. Not that this is the most critical area, but reboot strap. Normally the, the shuttle hubs do fix themselves. Um but if it goes too long and their drones run out, or not shuttle hub, uh, drone hub, if their drones run out of power, then they're going to be stuck at that point. So just swinging back over here. Um, how's my transport? You're still, you're driving to deliver some more metals. Oh yeah, I was just putting it over here just to spread the load. I did put some metals up top earlier. Machine parts, we got a couple. I mean, they're there, but... We're still running low on water. We still have a hundred in the storage, which is okay. It says domes without water. Hold on. How do you not have water? Oh, probably because the water towers can only empty themselves so fast. Yeah. So first of all, that's a good hint that we actually need more water towers. Isocorp stopped giving us the silent treatment. Okay. But it's clear from their message. They're not going to answer our question. They propose a deal. We fix one of their malfunctioning rovers. Well, we did dismantle one. Uh, and they provide a generous, as they put it, funding injection. Their legal team has also warned that any mission should be strictly for repairs and further inspection of vehicles will be taken as illegal act. In other words, if we wish, we can send drones to fix their rover, but nothing that can evaluate its perfect purpose like a rover. And we will be paid for their efforts. Malfunctioning rovers can now be repaired by drones. Not suspicious at all. Okay, well, we still took one apart. Now, I don't know what happens if I send a dro an RC rover over there, if that counts as a thing. And they just mean don't send an explorer. I don't know. Machine parts and food. Well, not having water is going to make it a little harder to grow some food. And, you know, we need machine parts over here to fix our water. Come on. 
I mean, again, we still have some water in storage. Not much. I actually don't see the number really changing here. Oh, no, all right. And now we have this. Hopefully we don't get too many deaths. But Although, honestly, we can afford a few deaths. I wonder if I could have just gone and, and fixed that, but... See, there's, there's even goddamn metals over here. RC transport, I'm going to get you to load all of these resources. Dun, dun, dun. 99, 100, and land. There's a variety of stuff. There's electronics and, and metal. Excellent. I wonder if I was supposed to do anything with that. It's funny that I could salvage it, though. Drop off some parts over here. This is now getting fixed up. Hopefully before anyone dies. We have a water shortage. Yeah, I know we have a water shortage. Working on it. Uh, you can go and unload there. Nothing broken down yet that I know of. No, they're just roaming around. All right. Okay, you're all working. Is there still metal? That's not metal. Um, what is this? This looks like polymer. Yeah, just a couple, probably from a meteor. Oh, there's a lot of metal over here. Okay. You're going to come load resources and unload over there. Okay. Now, meanwhile, we do have the mining going on over here. I did up the, uh, the priority just to encourage more people to come a little sooner. We have some machine parts left over and we're producing double shift machine parts. Still have a water shortage because we're still waiting for some of those things to get fixed. Of course, the fungal farm needs some water as well, not to mention oxygen, and we're actually not running a surplus of that. Do you not have... You have machine parts over here. Why aren't you... Oh, shit, because you're frozen. Oh, man. Wow. That's really annoying. We can't fix you because you're in a frozen area. Dust repulsion is on. That's for our solar panels, which is very nice. Um, and we have the in-dome buildings need less maintenance thing now, which is also going to be very helpful. Uh, we can start deep scanning. I don't think we have to... I mean, it gives us something to do with our scanners again. We don't have the ability to exploit deep minerals yet. These upgrades, they'll need material to do the upgrade, but they don't need extra power or anything like that. I think we probably will go and pick those up. They're fairly cheap to develop. Well, I guess we can put um, we can put some some water towers over here too, once that gets built, if it ever gets built. Metals, spare parts, because this will still need to get fixed after this gets built too, which is very annoying. Oh, and where you are now, shuttles are going to have to develop, de uh, deliver fuel. And we don't even have a little fuel storage here. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put down one um, universal storage hub right over here. And we'll need more of the universal storage when we do build the dome over here anyway. Heck, I'm going to go and preemptively build two right there. Because, yeah, there'll be a dome right there, and it'll want that. So that's going to be okay. You're probably needing some parts here, too. You actually need metal and you clearly have metal oh do you not have any drones i'm thinking those drones get absorbed by someone else that's weird here let's bring these guys down to six and they get one two three drones over here did they just get like destroyed at some point because this drone hub had been out of service for so long i'm a little confused but okay. Handsome reward for repairing one of its vehicles. I think I screwed up. I think I screwed up. I think I'm really worried that this vehicle here, which I dismantled because it was out of power. 
because it, it had been sitting there for a while. I think I should have gone over there and done something else. I'm hoping the events will continue to, pro to progress. But I'm very concerned that they won't. Uh, we have tons of spare electronics all of a sudden, which is really nice to see. I mean, we do have two electronics thingies, so that's part of it. Um, we could consider building up the dream drone depots to over that area, but I don't, I don't think we need to. I think we're kind of actually going to be fine with just working down here, but um, I will get the drone hub over here happening. Uh, maybe I want them to overlap each other. No, they don't need to overlap each other, generally speaking. They just need to overlap the supply areas. So that's going to be fine. That'll get built with like eight drones. I'll be able to take some of these away and build them over here instead. There you go. You're just waiting for that. Nice little warm area. Now, these water towers, um, do they need... They just need a little metal, which, I mean, we still don't have a ton of, but... There you go. We'll get a couple of water towers covered by this area here so that during a cold, a cold snap cold wave, whatever they call it, uh, we'll hopefully be able to do a little bit of something something. Getting some repairs being done. That's going to go up, which means I'll be able to move the RC rover as well, which I've been waiting to do for a while. How are we on polymers? We have some. How much do we need for the big dome? 25. Yeah, all right, we're getting there. Getting there. And we actually don't have like unlimited concrete either. Can I? I can build more over here, which is good, because this is where we're going to actually be um, building our stuff. So let's get a concrete extractor. Sort of ranged over there. And like that. Oops. And maybe a few more dumping sites. Boom. And you have a concrete storage right there. Good. Yeah, that's going to be nice. Dun, dun, dun. You're on heavy, but yeah. Uh, I thought they built with more. Anyway, I'm going to bring you down to a four. I'm bring you up to a five at least. It's not great, but it's a thing. Um, I'm going to feel okay about moving our little RC transport over here in preparation for our dome construction. Productivity training was... Engineers and geologists have increased performance. That's going to be really nice. The factory AI is going to be nice. Uh, doesn't need any more power, but we'll probably need electronics or polymers or something like that to put in place. But I think it's going to be well, well, well worthwhile. Um, the Sterling generators are also pretty damn sexy. Um, they need some fancy parts, but they're really good. Fairly cheap to develop. I'll put that in. The Logi turbine is something we might want to build later on too. Uses a lot of polymers to do that, but might be well worth it. We'll probably end up with a polymer plant over here. 38 unemployed people, 45 homeless, and almost 200 people in here. People, like, the fact that we have some homeless isn't stopping people from making babies, which is a little ridiculous. All right, I'm going to put down the dome now, because uh, I think it'll take a while to deliver all the goods. It is going to be on cold terrain, and it's not really avoidable, so it's going to need more power. Can't reach anything else. No. Just making sure there weren't any more minerals that we could take advantage of. I guess I'll build it here. At least it never freezes up once it gets built. It's going to be fine. All right, you're delivering some more metal over here. Do, 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 Excellent. Um, I'm not going to put a water tower right next to it because I don't know if we'll build the heater here. But I will at least get an oxygen tank. Fairly close by, because I do like to do that. Let me build it on this side over here. We'll also get um, a battery, which we already had one here, but yeah, we'll build another one in preparation for that. Uh, I think we're gonna need another Moxie, because we're just breaking even now, which means we're not refilling our tanks. Um, I don't think that'll get too dusty. And clearly this will be requiring some oxygen, so we'll do that. We're gonna launch you. I'm really worried I screwed up the Mars Gate event. If, if it is screwed up and never progresses, then I guess I can reload from an older save. That would be very frustrating though. Oh, we have one that's out of power again. Although it's in an area I can't reach. <laughs> All right. I'm, I'm assuming I can... Okay, that's going to be fine. 
Yeah, repair. <laughs> it's funny, you can, I can still choose to tear it apart. I wonder if, like, if I tore one apart now, if they'd be pissed. But yeah, we'll, uh... So we'll just wait for more of these to get drained, and we'll do that. If they do give us a big cash infusion, that wouldn't be too bad. And of course, we want to progress with the story. You know, sketchy stuff be damned. Oh, that is so much metal. RC Transport. You are going to grab this metal. And deliver it here. I mean, once we get this up, we'll have another metal mine. And a good one. But in the meantime... So yeah, we'll just wait for one of these other guys to run out of power. One that we can reach. I mean, at some point we'll build the tunnel up there. And get those breakthroughs. It'd be nice if we could airdrop a, a vehicle over there. Just build a giant trebuchet and fling our RC Explorer up the ridge. Oh, that'd be nice. And I mean, there's no way for me to just drive there, right? Like... Yeah, no. Instantly, like, GG out on the pathfinding. Okay. Good. I mean, I don't know if that's good, but it's expected. Uh, yeah, no metal. Come on, transport. You can do it. There's a bunch of metal over here. At least we'll get a little bit more of an injection. Enough to probably bootstrap that area. And yeah, getting the upgrade on that might not have been bad. I mean, it doesn't matter. Things would be a little faster on that, but that would be it. Low on food. We do have 85. Again, you know, things are coming in like spurts. We do have it set on our... Oh, no, you're still just doing pure soybean because you're... That's right, you're new. You're doing the soybean potato cycle. You're doing the soybean potato cycle, which I got to assume is okay. And then we've got the fungal farm over here and still a ton of unemployment. Like a ton. I can't work double shifts on this thing. Like, it's homeless and unemployed. So it's a little deceptive. We don't actually have a bunch of legitimately unemployed people over here. The problem is we have a bunch of homeless people over here. I suppose, you know, in the meantime, we can turn on another shift over here. At least put them to work. I forgot we've got the second metal mine. It's a weak metal mine, but it's a metal mine nonetheless. And yeah, you don't have any unemployed people. Metals and polymers, which we just have to wait for... Uh, well, a combination of things. You're going to deliver some metals. I'll probably keep using you for metals. I could go and get you to move some polymers a little faster, but I think it probably makes more sense for this thing to keep working on metal deliveries. Uh, here, I'll make this and this lower priority. Uh, the Moxie is actually quite high priority, in fact, because... Oh! Learn soon enough that it's a moving target. Guess Isocorp didn't aim high enough. Isocorp's having obvious issues with their mysterious rovers as they seem to be malfunctioning one after the other. Oh yeah, second one's down. Instead of admitting the faults of their predictions about the rough Martian conditions, the Isocorp team has sent us a message which quotes, gives the Martian colony command the rare privilege of sending one of our more analytical vehicles to look into the most certainly small miscalculation that caused our temporary annoyances, end quote. Furthermore, they go on to remind us that by choosing to analyze their broken vehicles, we have an understanding not to dig beyond the obvious logistical shortcomings in their design and agree to full and utter discretion. Anomalies appeared next to a malfunctioning vehicle. Okay, first of all, there's a second vehicle. There is an anomaly there. So I'm going to hit the RC Explorer to go and check this out, and then we'll fix this vehicle. Dropping that off. Drones over here, still quite active. I guess I don't, oh, I don't think I can, and I can't bundle the drones, but I can go and change their drone controller from here. Because four drones is probably more than enough on this. Oh, another breakdown. Where are you? Tell you what then. Um, RC Rover, you're gonna come over here. Let's not go too close. We don't want to upset them. Or whatever. Oh yeah, they've all broken down. Let's see how much money we get from at least fixing one. Give us a big, maybe, I don't know. Maybe a few polymers and machine parts for now. Or just, just metal. Which would be damn cheap. Because it's not like we're hitting our capacity on the shuttle. If we just shipped ourselves a bunch of metal, that might be like a good way to do it. Okay, we got the other moxie going. I'm very happy with that. Oh, RC Explorer, are you confused as to... Are you stuck? Let me 
Wow. Okay, I didn't realize that. Rebuild. Okay. That's why I GG'd out of the pathfinding so quick the first time. Okay. Come here. Go there. Analyze. I wonder if I can click on the vehicles to analyze them. Send drones. Do they not have solar panels? Like, they're battery powered. How are they possibly recharging themselves? Oh my god. 500,000? Yeah, okay. We're, uh, we're gonna do a few more of these. Okay, you're scanning. That's good. Boom. Very much worthwhile. We can't do the one on the ridge, though. Uh, there's some more metal over here. Oh, you're still driving out. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, man. Oh, man. All right, you can... Uh... Where's the one with the anomaly? Oh, up here. Come over here. A little knowledge is a dangerous thing. But there's a man out there who has so much of it that he can't be touched. Huh? Quick scan of the mysterious vehicle is enough to encounter several design flaws that make it comically ill-suited, ill-equipped for Mars. However, the scan also revealed the poor attempt to disguise the true nature of these rumors. Despite having remained a mystery so far, the effort to hide its military origin could not hold up under close examination. These rumors seem, without a doubt, weapons most probably tasked to use Mars as a testing ground, setting an extremely dangerous precedent among other obvious problems. By allowing us to not analyze their vehicle, Isocorp are also, without a doubt, issuing us a threat. And they seem comfortable enough with the notion that we will feel threatened enough to comply and keep our findings a secret. For, as issue riddled as these rovers are, they are numerous and still pack enough firepower to disrupt our colony, which has its hands full surviving Mars as it is. As cynical as this all seems to be, we must take into consideration that we have no military capacity whatsoever, and choosing to challenge, challenge them might put the lives of everyone in Mars on danger. This breaks all international, not to mention interplanetary treaties. We're going to expose it. I say we call their bluff and make them by our partnership. Mission is too great to jeopardize in this way. We'll weather it out just like we uh, would a regular dust storm. Oh my God. Wow. Mars get the path splits. I wonder if there really is like multiple legitimate paths from here and I'm making a choice. We'll go in one way or another. Um, let's think about what kind of people we're role playing, right? We're these sort of like righteous religious people. So I think that what we have to do is we have to expose it. I think it's the only way to role play what our colony is. Let's find out what happens. We're probably about to die. There you go. We choose to expose it. Now, do we, we stop repairing them? I'm, I'm actually wondering, legitimately. I mean, they're still breaking down all the time. And a half a billion is a half a billion. Yeah, I don't know. Um, let's send ourselves a rocket here with, um, metal is going to be going up fairly quickly. I think what we do is do, we do do the polymer and machine parts injection right now. I know we're producing machine parts, but not as quickly as we might like. There, a little bit of metal because it's cheap. Hopefully we didn't need to send you food. But yeah, we're going to go and, and help boost that up a bit. I don't know how. Like, because, yeah, this, this is not a military game. We don't have guns. Are you... Oh, we're paused. Couldn't figure out what, like, this thing was doing. Hmm. I know this is supposed to be one of the hard scenarios, and I can see why it's heading in that direction. All right, let's repair. We actually really could use the cash. The one on the ridge we still can't reach. I'm, I'm hoping they still pay us. What's interesting, there's the buy the partnership option. It's very interesting. All right, let's move you over here. Help babysit this drone for, er, dr yeah, drone, dome, dome, dome for now. <sighs> How close are we? Just need a few more polymers, which we actually do have. They just gotta be shipped over. But yeah, I'm planning on dropping a rocket. Eh, maybe over here actually when it arrives and that should let us finish this so I guess what we'll do is we'll put a cut in here 
Um, when this finishes, I'm going to build the mine and like the standard dome stuff, you know, probably an apartment and some services to start off with. Um, still looking to, we're going to need a second machine parts place. And this is going to be in a dome where we do produce metals. So I think we're going to do that. Um, this little twister is not entirely good. So yeah, but that'll have to wait until next time. Thanks for watching. See you then.